So it's called the zone. When you get into it, it's, it's kind of a flow. You're completely in the moment, like you're completely focused on what you're doing. You know, you haven't taken shortcuts, you've given everything you can, you're, you're not doubting your preparation. You arrive to the game in a good state of mind and then you trust on, on what you've done. You're able to turn your mind off. I was just completely focused, like I didn't really have a sense of time. I no, don't need to think. You can almost go on autopilot. You're, you're not thinking and reacting, you're just doing. You're just part of that moment and part of that experience. I do focus on my own game and I don't compare it that much. You gotta focus on making your own choices and for me it was always a clear choice of my drive was what sort of propelled me down the path and um, and as long as I was doing the best that I could do as a clean athlete, that's, that's what I could do. Every day I train to get faster, and every day I take little gains, thinking that at the end of the day, this is what can make the difference between the gold and a silver medal. And when you think that some people resort to other means to get that little edge, that little competitive edge between silver and gold, it, uh, it's really unfortunate. You'd like to, to think that you're competing against people in your same state, you know, uh, clean. Winning is really um, great and gives you satisfaction and happiness when you know that you did it in a fair way. Whereas if you take in substances or whatever it is, then it's not yours to keep. And I love looking to my right and to my left and thinking without a doubt that my competitors are nearly as fit and as mentally strong as I am. And it's only the little differences that are gonna make the difference. And that doping isn't one of them.